In my last video, I explained what Poland's LGBT free zones are. If you haven't watched that video, I suggest you watch it first. You'll find the link to it below this video. In this video, I intend to expand on what I told you in my last video by telling you why these LGBT free zones are a problem. How do they impact the Polish LGBTQ community? Let's get to the facts. LGBT people who live within these free zones feel like pariahs and moving targets for attacks from extreme right. As a result, Many of them move abroad. LGBT people who choose to stay within these zones don't feel safe there as their local government doesn't protect them in any way. To make matters worse, people accept violence against LGBTI people. In fact, about 70% of LGBTI people in Poland have experienced anti-LGBTI violence, either psychological or physical. And instead of helping this vulnerable group, the government encourages radical conservatives instead of punishing them. The extreme right feel they can do almost whatever they want to LGBT people as they face no punishment. For instance, when two YouTubers travel to an LGBT free zone, their cameraman was attacked and people swore at them. But since no one was stabbed or killed, people didn't seem to care. The attackers could just go ahead. Young LGBT students also live in fear because if they get bullied for being LGBT, teachers don't help them. Cecilia Jakubczak of advocacy group Campaign Against Homophobia said that the situation of young people is extremely concerning. We fear that these resolutions will have terrible psychological consequences on LGBTI youth. For instance, 50% have shown symptoms of depression. And a 2018 University of Warsaw study found that 70% of teenagers identifying as LGBTI had had suicidal thoughts. Furthermore, LGBT free zones add to the country's track record of preventing peaceful LGBTI gatherings from going ahead. 24 Pride marches took place between March and October 2019, 10 more than in 2018, but some of these were violently attacked. For example, a group of extremists disrupted the first equality march in Bialystok in July 2019. Attackers burned flags, threw smoke bombs, bottles, and rotten eggs at the 1,000 pride goers, and injured and beat up several people. All this information came from these websites. You'll find these links below this video. In my next video in this series, I intend to give you the background of these LGBT free zones, what gave rise to them, so be sure to watch that video, it's coming in 5 weeks. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and watch this series from the start. Next Friday, I'll be back with a new episode in my series on cognitive abilities. Till then, I only want to say three things. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and bye for now.